Hi dear students, this is Vetri. In this video, we are going to see about binary search tree. So we know that what is binary tree, right? And what is binary search tree? Binary search tree is also a binary tree, but it having uh, some specific conditions. The data are arranged in specific order. So what is the order, right? What is the condition here we are having? Simple. The nodes at left subtree is always lesser than the root node and the nodes or element at the right subtree is always greater than the root node. So in this tree you can see that the root node value is 6. So in left subtree we are having the values 4, 3, 5. So the, all the elements are lesser than the root node, right? And when it comes to right subtree, see 8 is greater than 6, 7 is greater than 6 and 9 also greater than 6. So that's the principle. The left subtree of the root node is always lesser than the root node and right subtree is always greater than the root node, root node value. Okay. So that's the principle. This is how the binary search tree is differ from binary tree. Okay. So let me explain the function, how we are going to insert a data, new data into uh, a tree. And here we are having a basic operations like insertion and deletion. Okay. For inserting an element into a tree, so we are having some specific uh, principles, right? So first main principle is, if the tree is empty, so when I am trying to insert a new data into tree, at the time uh, when the tree is empty means so we have to keep the first data a new data as the root node see I am going to insert a value 6 at that time I don't have any data in my tree so I have to keep 6 as my root node okay uh, when only when the tree is empty right so because we no need to because there is no data to compare the uh, things right next so if i'm having a root value so what i have to do see let me write the function my function name is insert so what are the two uh, nodes i'm going to deal first one is node root right which is root pointer and then node which one is a new right a new pointer the new value so this is how we are going to start the comparison and then so first I have to check for example I am going to get uh, insert a value as 4 ok so I have to compare this 4 into sorry I have to compare this value 4 in with uh, 6 right so how can we write so already we know that we are the trees at that node will have three fields right the fields are left right and the data fields okay so this will be look like this six means a data field and then left subtree and then right subtree okay now so how and how we can start this first i'm going to start comparing the value so whether it is greater than or less than okay so new data less than of root data see a new field a new field data is if it is less than root data means so what we have to do see if it is less than means what i have to do a left right root left is equal to new okay so I'm just simply I'm storing the value a new uh, from the new uh, new node into the left node because it's less than right 4 right so before to that I have to check see in some case if I am having value already I am having the value like a 5 then I cannot replace the value 5 here right sorry 
I cannot replace 4 by 5, right? So, because already I have the left subtree. So, I have to write the condition before to it. So, how we can write the condition? See, if root left is equal to equal to null, if the root left value is null means directly I can print my value in cleft subtree. But if not, so we have to do the function again, right? So if it satisfies, I can write root left is equal to new, right? Else, so what I have to do? I have to apply this function again, the recursive the recursive function. So I'm going to perform. Then, for example, if I'm having five means five will become a root node now. Then I have to reprocess and we have to come. I have, I have start the comparison again, right? See, insert new data, comma left okay because that's the left value so that's it this is for uh, if the data is less than the root data so if it is not less than means what we have to do completely uh, contrast for to this right so let me write For the next case, if the a new data is greater than the root value, see how the comparison is going to be. If new data greater than root data, so this is the comparison. So then again we have to check, for example, the incoming value is 8. I have to compare because 6 is greater than 8. In some case, if I am having, already I am having the root left value as 7 means. So, whether I have to, I have to check whether the right subtree is empty or not. By, by, by replicating the same value, same uh, method, okay. If root right is equal to equal to null. So, if it is null means directly I can place the value, place my new value into the right subtree, right? So, root right is equal to new. Else, if root value is not null means, for example, if I am having a value 7 here for inserting 8. So, simple I have to perform the comparison again again I have to compare from here okay see first so here for insertion what are the two values I am going to deal with one is root right and then the new value and also can keep new data also okay so this is the function so the this function is called as recursive function so we are going to perform the same operation again and again until we get the result okay so that's the function let me explain with a neat example for insertion okay okay now see here i have the number of elements to be inserted in binary search tree okay so let me uh, do this first step first i'm going to insert 14 okay so I already told because it's an empty tree, I don't have any value in my tree. Okay, it's just a pictorial representation for the understanding of uh, how the logic is working. Okay, see, 14 is going to be my root node. The first value is always going to be root node. Okay, then, so actually you have to uh, keep for exam point of view, you have to write each step uh, with different diagrams. Okay. Because I do have space, I am going to keep drawing one by one within the same diagram. 
okay when it comes to exam uh, you have to keep uh, different diagrams for each insertion right now after reading 14 next i am going to read 15 okay so check whether 15 is greater than or lesser than less than 14 15 is greater than 14 so i have to keep 15 as right sub tree so then i am going to read 4 4 is so always we have to start always from the root node okay so 4 is less than 14 so i can keep 4 as left sub tree then next one is 9 9 is less than 14 right 9 is less than 14 so i'm i'm here 9 is less than 14 but 9 is greater than 4 so there i have to keep right subtree of 4 okay see once again 9 is less than 14 so that's why i choose left subtree then i'm checking again because it's not null i'm having the value at left subtree okay so i have to uh, compare once again after comparison so i come to right subtree of 4 because 4 is sorry 9 is greater than 4 right then 7 read 7 7 is lesser than 14 then what about with 4 7 is greater than 7 is greater than 4 so i have to come here 9 so 9 is greater than or less than 7 7 is less than 9 so i have to be in left subtree of 9 okay then 18 so 18 is see 18 is greater than 14 so i have to travel towards right subtree and then again it's not null so i have to compare again with 15 18 is greater than 15 so 18 i have i have placed 18 at right subtree of 15 right then read 3 so 3 is less than 14 and then what about with 4 less than 4 3 is less than 4 so i can keep 3 as left sub 3 of 4 then 5 see 5 is less than 14 but greater than 4 right and when it comes to, uh, with 9 9 is greater than 5 so again i have to uh, go left i have to compare with 7 right 5 is less than 7 i have to keep at bottom of 7 as left subtree okay the final value is 16 16 is greater than 14 16 is greater than 15 16 is less than 18 so i have to keep 16 as left subtree of 18 right so i have inserted all the elements so this is how you have to insert an element into binary search tree by using the principle okay so i hope you understood how you, uh, how the insertion is working on binary search tree right so that's it okay the next operation is deletion see here we have some different categories okay so the first condition is deletion of leaf node a node doesn't have any child for example leaf node which one is leaf node here 3 5 16 so these three are leaf nodes right so if i want to delete a leaf node there is no issue simply you can go to that location you can delete it if i want to delete 5 from here simply i can delete 5 without disturbing the whole tree right okay now so that's the first condition deletion of leaf node so there is no rule directly you can delete the leaf node from the tree then the next condition is if the node having one child deletion of a element a deletion of node having one child for example if i want to delete seven from this tree that means 
7 having only one child. So how we are going to read? So if I am deleting 7 means what will happen? I will, I will uh, get isolated, right? Because there is no connection to 9 to 5, right? For that case, simply we have to replace the child with the parent, okay? See, you have to replace 5 at the location of 7, okay? Because you have said deleted the 7, then you have to replace the child value on parent's memory location, okay? So this is how we are going to do. See, I have deleted 7, now I have 5, I have replaced 7 by 5, okay? Then, now you know how to delete a node having one child. Then, the next case is very very important case and a node having two child. For example, see here, yeah, here, 4 is having two childs, right? One child is 3 and another child is 9. See, in that case, in this case, what we have to do is, we have to find out the in-order successor of that particular node. So, for 4, what is the in-order successor? Successor means a nearby node, right? Nearby node of 4. Which one is? Successor means the next one, right? Predecessor means the previous one. So, what is the value of uh, what is the node? Uh, in order successor of 4 is here we have 3 nodes, right? 3, 9, 5. Which one is in order successor? 5, right? So, we all know that. 3, 4, 5, 9. So, this is the data we are having. 4 is here. Which one is next to it? 5, right? So, we have to replace the value with in order successor of that particular value. Okay, so here I am going to replace, I have deleted 4, then I am going to replace 5 with that one. Okay, so this is how we are going to perform deletion operation in binary search tree. Right, so the logics are very simple, but you have to keep the eye on all the logics very well. Okay, so otherwise it will feel, it will get be a little bit difficult to understand. So that's the operations we are having under binary search tree. So I hope you understood what is the difference between binary tree and binary search tree. And then uh, we, have, uh, we have seen that binary search tree functions, how to insert a data into a binary tree, sorry, binary search tree. And then how to perform insertion and deletion operation in binary search tree, right? So I hope you understood the logics very well. So if you have any doubts, you can comment in comment section. And in next class, we are going to see about ABL tree. So that's going to be a very interesting one. Um, we will see in next class. And thank you so much.